this is Reggie with My Tech Opinion, and today we're going to be looking at how to install a theme on your self-hosted blog using WordPress. So, to get started, I thought first we'd look at an FTP client. Um, now, for this project, I wanted something free so that everybody could use it. Um, so I searched out Go FTP. Now, this client uh, is easy to find. You go to Google, type it in. It should be the first result. You'll see it here: Fast Free FTP Client. Go ahead and choose Download. Install that application will use it later on in the process. The next part of installing a theme to your self-hosted blog is going to be downloading the theme itself. Now there's a lot of different ways to find themes for WordPress out there. Um, you can start by going to Google and searching. Um, just know that some of the most popular themes are in the WordPress theme directory. That can be good and bad. If you're looking for something unique, you might not want to start there. But for this example, the WordPress theme viewer is perfect. I'll go ahead and scroll down and choose one of these themes here. I'm going to go with this plain uh, white theme here. If I was to click on test run, that's going to open up that theme full view so I can actually navigate through it and see how it operates. If that's the theme I want, I choose download. You're going to notice here that it downloads into a zip file. So I'll go ahead and save that to my PC. Now, uh, it's best to be organized with this. Um, I'd prefer you save to your My Documents folder and then a site folder. In this particular case, I'll go to Documents and a folder called RE Tutorials. I'm going to go ahead and save the Genesis theme. Click Save. Okay, it's now downloaded. Now what we do is open up that folder on your computer. And uh, voila, you can see here, there's the Genesis theme. I'll go ahead and right click on that theme that we just downloaded and choose Extract All. You can see here the extract window is opening. It's telling me the location it's going to save to, and we'll go ahead and choose extract. Voila. Now it's opened up the new folder. I can go ahead and click in here, and you'll see all the site files. Now then, we need to get these files onto your self-hosted blog. So next, we need to open up GoFTP, the FTP client. So I'll go ahead and open up that software here. And you can see uh, there's zero sites defined at this time. So we'll go ahead and click on the New Site button. Type in a site name. I'll do uh, RE Tutorials. That's just a descriptive name. And then to the right, we're going to be putting in uh, our FTP host information. You should have gotten this when you first reserved your domain name and host. I'll go ahead here and type in the address. Perfect. Next, the username. And then the password. Perfect. Okay, we can see data transfer test passed. Go ahead and press OK. Next, we're going to go ahead here and locate the files that are on our hard drive and where we're going to put them on the server. Now then, I'm going to navigate, because I know they're in my documents, to my documents folder, and specifically to, uh, look at all these folders here, the RE Tutorials. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to go navigate until I can find my WP Content folder, and you'll see your Themes folder. Now this is where I upload my themes. So basically now I go over here to the left hand side where I have my Genesis theme. Go ahead and go inside that one folder. As um, the creator of this theme stacked the folders so that the actual theme was two folders deep. Now I go ahead and click on that item and I can uh, do a couple different things. I can use the little uh, transfer button up here or I can simply drag it on over however you uh, like best. All right. That's updated, and now we can go ahead and go over to our WordPress blog. Let's do that here, and we'll log in. Perfect. Now we're going to click on the Design button here. And I scroll down, and there's the new theme that we just uploaded. So I go ahead and click on that theme, and voila, the theme is now active. Click on View Site. And there's the new theme. Thank you very much for your time, and you've just learned how to upload a theme to your self-hosted blog. This is Reggie with My Tech Opinion.